Hi guys, welcome back. It's Shauna O'Kelly, aka Little Bit of Sunshine, hope on the bright of your day, no matter what the weather. And today I thought I'd do like a bit of a rant, but a bit like more of a mellow rant than I usually, not where I usually go off on a mad tangent. Check out there. <laughs> but today I wanted to talk more about like losing friends and I wanted to give more like advice and just talk about like losing friends rather than like you know giving friends up which is like usually what my other videos are about but basically like i've been talking to a few people that have literally lost a good friend or lost someone close to them lately and i don't mean lose them as in the past away i mean you know they've grown up their views have changed life has changed you know for whatever reason they're not friends anymore there's always a reason i just gosh there's a million reasons you could not be friends with someone anymore. I just wanted to like let people know that like it's it's a very common thing and that they're not alone when it happens. I know it happens to me so so often. The other people I've called my best friends, my best does, my best mates, everything else, you know, the greatest people in my life and we don't even talk anymore. We don't even look at each other anymore. We don't care about each other anymore. I know like situations like that. And it just comes down to, you know, as you grow you know what you need in a friend changes and that's what i do believe i do believe you have like a few friends that maybe you have for years but all in all the friends that you kind of have is more acquaintances i think they change so often and it brings so much unnecessary drama to life you just have to realize things happen you know that like you're not going to be friends with everyone that you're friends with does that mean like every friend that comes into your life isn't always going to be your friend isn't always going to be in your life nine out of ten times probably more like probably like 99 out of 100 times more likely friends that you have aren't going to be there like five years time and ten years time sometimes in a few months like the friends that i had this time last year i don't have this time this year like it's, it's simple as that like i was hanging around a gang last year don't hang around them this year i was hanging around a gang a gang two years ago i don't hang around them anymore like it's like i'm always changing my friends i always have different friends every other week and now at the point where I'm just like, no friends. <laughs> now, like, I do have my, like, close friends, people I like, go to with everything, but, like, as in, having, like, acquaintances and all that jazz and all that drama, like, I have just cut that out of my life. And, yeah, it is, I guess you could call it slightly lonely, but, like, at the same time, I'm not, like, getting emotionally involved with people that I don't need. That's how I feel about it. Like, I'm not wasting time, energy, and, you know everything else on someone that's not going to be here in a year and that's what i feel like i'm not investing in people that aren't worth investing in that's that's how i see it i see it as like all them bad friends over the years they were just bad investments and i just have to cut my losses and accept that they're not good friends but some of my good friends are good investments and i do like investing time and energy and you know everything else into them people and keeping them people and that's okay but i just i don't like making as i call them short-term investments anymore in friends you know i will be nice and polite and everything else to people everyone knows that i'm completely like i could be civil and nice to anybody like seriously anybody but as far as investing time and going out my way for these people it's a no and like even people that like i invested heavily in just kind of more out of like being a nice person and being pitiful i guess you know feeling bad for these people for not having friends like even them kind of people have kind of thrown it back in my face and giving me drama and giving me that s word that i'm not gonna say that i really didn't need and really didn't want and really like just want to avoid in future so my like advice is literally stick with maybe three or four friends that you can trust like on the top of my head i definitely have four people i run to everything and my mom is on that list and they are like the like solid foundations of my friendships and then everyone else on that there's some that I go to for certain situations or certain little nicks or knacks but you know I don't invest time in people that you know are fun for the few few weeks few months a year or whatever and then never gonna see them again and I don't I like how do I explain it <laughs> I have people that I would talk to like about certain things like off the top of my head people that would have similar stomach problems to me people that would have similar interests to me like swimming or the gym or you know the youth center or whatever but like i did no wait i'm gonna actually say i have five 
good friends on my foundation. I, I forgot one, but maybe I shouldn't forget that for instance because they've been kind of good the last few months. And what was I saying now? <laughs> oh yeah, like the youth center and like situations like that. Like there is people that I will talk to and I would call them good friends, but I wouldn't call them my best friend. You know, they're just like friends and they're just in my life and you know, I, I understand that maybe in 10 years we'll probably still be on each other's Facebook, but we probably won't actually see each other ever. <laughs> we, won't, we don't go for coffee now, we don't go for food now, we're not going to do it in 10 years. It's just it, like it's that like easy to kind of like manifest in my head. Like, you know, what we don't do now, we're not going to do in 10 years. So like, I'm not going to waste my time doing it now to be not doing it in 10 years again. Do you know, like... I don't know, I feel like I'm kind of like rambling in a like this way, but it is what it is, like you're not gonna have, everyone is not gonna remain your friend, do you know, like we're, we're so obsessed and we get so worked up and so emotionally drained and emotionally and like hurt when we lose friends and you know, it's something we don't, we can avoid and we just, we put ourselves in it every time. It's like bad relationships, we just throw ourselves into bad, bad friendships. We know it's not gonna last, we know it's just for fun. <laughs> for fun, not that kind of fun. But uh, you, you know, it's just for a short period of time, it's just someone to fill the gap while maybe your other friends are busy or you're, you know, you're fighting with your other friends. I don't know like what the situation is. I know situations that I've gone through and why I've picked like short term friends. But like now I'm just kind of like, no, like my long term friends are worth waiting on. It's like a delayed gratification when I do get to spend time with them because, you know, I haven't gone out in so long and it's so nice to spend time with people that get me and I get them and I'm willing to like completely clear my schedule for them no matter what they need. But there's people out there that I like talk to and all but wouldn't. If they said jump, I wouldn't say how high, but there is friends that if they said jump, I'd say, you know, where are we jumping to because I know it wouldn't just be me it'd be them jumping with me I don't know if that metaphor made any sense but it did to me <laughs> I always say that a lot on this channel don't I like I always say I don't know if that made sense and some people come up to me and be like why do you say that it made perfect sense I say just because when I'm talking to the camera it's very hard you don't get feedback from this little black thing it's just literally just a lens staring at you you don't know if you look sane insane crazy cracked but anyway don't like get so hurt and beat down by short-term friends they're just bad bad investments in time you know people always think that investments only ever include money and I think that's like for anybody that hasn't done be business investments are basically where you put when you put your money in something hoping to get something back out in the long term basically so the likes of like houses people invest in houses and hope that they can like put a hundred thousand buy a house for a hundred thousand sell it for two hundred thousand that's an investment so like you can invest time as well which i like is i think is the biggest investment you can make people always say money is but now i think time is the biggest investment you know we only have so much time you can make all the money in the world but you can't buy yourself more time you can always get more money but you can't get yourself another minute another second when your time is up, your time is up. So your time is precious and it's the most precious investment you will ever make. So don't invest in bad things, bad people, bad situations and bad drama, emotional drainage and all that bad negative stuff. You know, if you're feeling lonely, do something that won't make you feel lonely. Like learn to do things on your own. That was my big problem. I was making bad friends and bad situations because I was afraid to go places on my own. And I will admit, it's still eating on my own still feels weird. And it's usually why I don't eat out anymore. Or going for coffee but there has been times in the past year that i have gone for like a drink on my own or like you know a coffee i'm not gonna like say it. i haven't sat in bars creeping by myself i don't drink anymore but the likes of sitting for a coffee i know i don't drink coffee anymore but like say you're sitting there for an iced tea i have sat in costa with a book and just been the happiest person it's like something out of a movie sometimes or just walking down to the shops by myself walking to shopping centers going into town by myself it's so much like when you like at first it can be so intimidating and so scary because you're like oh my god everyone's in groups and they're all looking at me they're not they don't really care they're off doing their own things they, they, very few people live in, like notice the people that are going past i know i don't notice anybody i'm going past so like you just have to like sometimes learn how to like be independent and do these things completely on your own 
and that's where like I started to get better at doing things like on my own and not needing bad people because I was doing things on my own I didn't need anybody else to do it with me because I was really good at doing it on my own so that's kind of like a great bit of advice is learn to kind of do things on your own and be your own person some people travel the whole world on, your, on their own so like if you can't go to the shop on your own you know you're stung you know you, you, it'll happen that one day you'll end up on your having to do something on your own and you'll freak out whereas if I had to go and do something on my own today I'd be grand like I'd be like all right yeah grand <laughs> it wouldn't affect me in the slightest I'd, I'd hop on a plane and happily go live in Spain for a year tomorrow because I'm, I, I don't mind being on my own you have to learn to enjoy your own company and I think that's what a lot of people's problems is they make bad friends and stay in bad friendships because they can't enjoy their own company they start getting dark thoughts they start like making bad decisions and instead of doing things they love they end up doing things they hate and it just makes no sense to me just do things you love do them on your own like I love to read so I started going to the library on my own and like I found that going to the library on my own compared to other people meant that I got to like actually see what books were there without someone going look at this look at this my mum will tell you I go shopping with her every now and again and when I go shopping for I see nothing because she's talking in my ear and I'm like, I can't see what I'm looking for. And I get real annoyed. She disappeared for literally like three minutes, five minutes. Sometimes she goes to get her eyebrows done or whatever, right? So 20 minutes. And she'll come back and I'll have a bag of stuff and she'll say, you didn't see that when I was with you. And I'd be like, yeah, I know. You know, this is what I like achieved on my own. <laughs> so like, that's why I prefer going everywhere on my own now. I'm like, I'm such a lone little wolf. <laughs> but, um, it's just basically because basically because I'm sick of being let down by people, sick of like having to, to having to depend on people that I couldn't depend on. So that's why I think bad friends are tossed. And don't be so disheartened and so upset about like people being mean or being leaving your like friend group or leaving you know the whole group leaving you like that that always seems to be my thing i never like i'm never like in the group when someone leaves i'm always the person that leaves a group force because the group's falling apart like that is literally my life like ever since i was like 13 or 14 that's always been the situation that you know when things start getting sour i'm like bye <laughs> And that was basically because I was really bad at picking friends and I was just picked who would take me. <laughs> I was a weird person, so nobody would. But um, yeah, that's my little rant for today. I hope you've enjoyed this. I don't know if you do or not, but if you do, give it a like. Let me know what else I can talk about because I've got lots to talk about. And I'll see you all again soon. Bye.